back. This is Coach Ascender. I'm back with a new hairstyle, as you can tell. It is still me, don't worry. But I'd just first like to say thank you very much to everyone who's watched the videos, to everyone who's liked and shared, and most importantly, to everyone who's given me suggestions on topics that we need to be covering. And today, we will be doing exactly that. I'm going to be talking to you today about the difference between coaching versus training and versus mentoring. A lot of people have been asking me, well, you're a coach, I understand, but how different is your offering to someone who trains me and someone who can mentor me? And I want to use a very simple example to explain how these three disciplines are different. When, when, for example, you say your business is not doing well because you are not doing enough marketing, then the first way that you would fix that would be to either enroll in a marketing course or find someone who can teach you on how to do a marketing plan. So that person will take you through the seven P's of marketing, how to segment your, your market, etc., etc., and once that process is done, the assumption is you as the business owner are ready to then effect that process. But what tends to happen then is a lot of people do not follow through with those plans that they learn in the classroom. And the main reason for that is that a lot of us lack confidence in our ability to perform a task. A lot of times we procrastinate. So we don't know what to do when over other things. And that is where a coach comes in. So my role, once you've gone through the hard skills of training in terms of understanding a marketing plan, I then take you through a process of saying, why are you not fully utilizing what you have learned in order to take your business to the next level? So I would say, for example, why are you procrastinating? And we will find different ways and using tools that will show you where the key areas you ought to be focusing on are. And then on the other hand, you have mentoring. Mentoring says it is someone that has gone through the process that is able to impart their knowledge as well as their experiences to help you to move forward. For an example, I mentor a lot of young women who have recently started into business. And the reason why I do that is because I have gone through where they want to go. So I'm in a better position to assist without necessarily coaching them. So what I like to say to people that all these three disciplines have a place especially in the business, small business environment. You do need to learn hard skills in order to keep, to grow your business and to sustain it. Number two, you do need to have a coach who can support you in your journey in becoming a better leader for your business as well as being a better leader for yourself. And number three, everyone does need a mentor. You do need someone that you look up to who has traveled the road that can show you all the tips, show you all the tricks of the trade in order for you to become better. I hope this is very useful for you, especially as you look in terms of what does your business need at this point. Do you need a professional trainer? Do you need a coach? Or do you need a mentor? If you need a coach, you know who you need to be speaking to. Thank you very much for your time, and as per usual, please like this post, comment, and tell me what you think, and most importantly, keep those ideas coming on future projects to be covered. Thank you.